I'm going to share with you five clever tricks you can do with the FT891. That's coming up on this episode of Ham Radio Q&A. I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, and today I'm going to share with you five clever things you can do with the FT891. The Yesu FT891 is a small and very capable amateur radio transceiver. It packs a lot of punch into a small package. There's a lot you can do with it, and its true power and capability of the FT891 often goes overlooked. So what I did was go through the manual and the menu system and found five clever things you probably didn't know your FT891 could do. So let's take a look at the five clever things that you can do with a Yesu FT891. QSL the 3916, please stand by for a second operator. All right, November 0, Delta India Mike. Thanks to your 5 and 1, 51 here in Wisconsin. QSL? Oh, the, the call is Kilo Zulu 9 Victor. KZ 9V. QSL? I copy Kilo Zulu 9 Victor. QSL? Now, here's a really clever thing that you can do with the FT891. Uh, Dave White, uh, KZ 9V, showed this to me. Uh, you see on the on the display right now, we've got our meter set to SD, SWR, uh, standing wave ratio, and that's usually a common um, meter setting, you know, that I like to use when uh, when transmitting, so I know that my, in, you know, the SWR is not rising as as I as I'm using the radio. You can go into the function menu, and I'll go to function menu two, and I'm going to select meter, MTR. And commonly you can do the SWR, ALC, power, uh, compression, and IDD. Uh, IDD is the voltage, the, the transceiver voltage. And, you know, we can change this to say like ALC. Um, and then it's set to ALC there. Uh, but if you want to be able to easily change these meter functions on the fly, uh, what we can do is we can assign the meter to a button. And you assign it to a button by long pressing. And now um, when I long press the A, the um, meter function was transferred down to one of the ABC keys. And now when I press meter, I can get to the, to the meter settings and I can select, easily select those meters. But another, another neat thing is if we, okay, now that if the meter's turned off, uh, we can highlight it. And then if the meter is highlighted, if I just rotate the multifunction knob, it automatically uh, selects the meters. So if you find you need to quickly switch between power, ALC, or um, SWR, uh, moving the meter uh, function to one of the hotkeys and activating it makes it super simple to make those, those selections just by rotating the knob. It's a clever thing that the FT891 does. Whiskey 5, November X-ray Kilo. Whiskey 5, November X-ray Kilo, 57 Wisconsin, park number 1472. Back to you. Yes, I also have you about a 57 here in the eastern Texas. Uh, you have fun out there today. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're having a blast. Although it is getting a little chilly and rain is coming, so uh, thanks a lot for the Texas. You have a great day. A real clever feature of the FT891 is its ability to set the transmit level powers by mode. So, um, and for new operators of the FT891, usually one of the first questions they always have is, how do I set the transmit power? How do I set the transmit level? Well, let's hit uh, the function menu and we're going to go down down, 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 down to the bottom, or 16, and 16.1 um, through 16.7, uh, all have to deal with transmit power. So you've got several different transmit power choices here. Uh, HF sideband power. HF AM power, HF power, which would be CW and data. And then you have um, 
it says 50M, that's 50 megahertz sideband power, 50 megahertz AM power, 50 megahertz power, that's CW and, um, and data again. So that's, that's for the six meter band, you've got separate settings. So starting off here with uh, sideband power, uh, we can, I usually set mine to 50 uh, when I'm out in the field, but long press or press to highlight and you can change your power level down from out down to five or up to a hundred and you can do the same with AM and you can do the same with uh, CW and the data modes that would include RTTY and data and CW so you can leave your CW mode at say 20 watts and you can leave your phone mode at 50 watts and then when you change the um, when you, when you go into your mode select, it will automatically see if it automatically make those selections for you, you know, for your power level selections. And um, that's the same with um, the six meter band. You can have separate six meter um, settings as you would the, with the rest of HF. And that's on the menu item 16, transmit power. CQ, Park Sunny Air, CQ, Park Sunny Air, KB9, BBR, Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Park Sunny Air. Another real clever feature of the FT891 is its uh, digital voice keyer. Uh, and uh, I did a separate video on how to do uh, a digital voice keying. So uh, you might want to check out that video to see uh, how that feature is set up. But basically, uh, if you go to function uh, record settings, uh, you can set the playback and then any of five channels. And I've got channel one set as my C key, as a hot key, just to make it easier to uh, key that, that message. So when I press channel one. CQ, CQ, Park Sunny Air, CQ, Park Sunny Air, KB9, BBR, Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Park Sunny Air it automatically plays back that message. Uh, but one of the things is that people you know, have told me is that, boy, that message is really loud when it's in my headphones, and wouldn't it be nice to be able to adjust the volume? Well, you can do that. Uh, if I long press the function key to get to the menu, I'm going to go to menu item uh, 3-1 and 3-2, and these both have to do with the digital voice system. Uh, 3-1 is DVS RX out level. Uh, that would be the monitor level into your headphones. The default is 50. Um, I've got it set down to 25. Uh, if, you, if you change it down even lower than that to say like 10, uh, then you can have uh, a, you know, the, just, a, just a real low volume of, of um, audio. And you can see that, it, you can hear that it, that's a lot quieter than what it was before. Uh, I found that if you set it above, you know, as you get up above 50, you know, if I go up to like 70, boy, it gets interminably loud. So, just be aware of that. CQ, CQ, Park Sunny Air, CQ, Park Sunny Air. So that... So adjusting the DVS receive output 3-1 allows you to change that value of that voice keyer that is coming out of your speaker. Uh, DVS TX out level or TX out level that is the amount of volume going out into the transceiver when you transmit. So if you want to kind of match your audio levels of the um, of the digital voice keyer with your actual voice audio, uh, you can you can adjust those those levels. I use I usually leave mine set to the default to 50. Seems to work really well for my voice. But you, depending on how you you've got your microphone set up, you may need to change that slightly. CQ, CQ, Minnesota Kilo party. Kilo zero mic. Kilo zero mic. Calling CQ mobile. November four Lima Kilo Echo. November 4, Lima Kilo Echo. Please copy Mike. Wabasha County, Whiskey Alpha Bravo. Back to you. Thank you, 
Thank you very much. Please copy Ron, Romeo Oscar Nancy, Tennessee. Roger, Ron, Tennessee. Thanks a lot for the contact. A really clever feature of the FT891 is to hold the peak levels of the meter uh, as it's receiving a signal. So um, if you look on the display here, I've got it tuned into a station and uh, the meter's going all over the place. And I might want to be able to accurately uh, see what that peak level is. So in order to do that, I will want to turn on the meter peak hold function. And I'll do that by long pressing the function key to get to the menu. And then I'm going to scroll down to menu 2.5. And that's peak hold. Uh, right now we have it set to off. Uh, click. And I can select between 0.5 seconds, 1 second, or 2 seconds. And I like to do 1 second. And uh, there we go. Uh, return. And now, as you look on the meter there, as it receives a signal, you can see there's a little um, indicator telling you where the, uh, where the peak levels are as the, as the receive signal jumps up and down. So this station is kind of uh, waffling between uh, S9 or 5.9 and uh, 20 over 9 which is pretty common on, on some of these uh, frequencies where there's, a, where there's a net. So the peak meter hold, a uh, really nice way to kind of see, you know, where those peak levels are as you're receiving a signal. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air QRZ. An Echo Alpha Golf. Kilo 2, Echo Alpha Golf, 59 Western New York. Kilo 2, Echo Alpha Golf. Echo Alcohol Gulp, Roger the 59 New York or 59 Wisconsin, park number 1453. Roger, thanks, 73. 73, take it easy. This is KB9 VBR, parks on the air, QRZ. I think one of the most clever features of the FT891 is its split mode operation. Uh, sp split operation allows you to transmit on one frequency and receive on another. Uh, this is really common if you are trying to make a contact with a DX station. Uh, DX stations will often say that they're listening on split, which means that they, they transmit on one particular frequency, but they listen to a wide range of frequencies, you know, maybe five or 10 kilohertz above their transmitting frequency. They do this is because the pileups are so large and so massive, and they, and if everybody is transmitting on their transmit frequency, on the DX station's transmit frequency, they can't pick stations out, and other stations can't hear uh, the DX operator working. So, they will commonly, you know, uh, say, uh, listening up five, listening up ten, and you might see that on the spotting pages, you know, up five, up ten. You can configure the FT891 to operate split so that uh, you can dial in what the split frequency is and then always be listening to the uh, DX stations transmit. And But then when you transmit, you're going to transmit on their listening split frequencies. The FT891 has a really convenient feature called the quick split operation. It's like a one touch uh, split. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure this uh, radio up to use quick split and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press my function button and uh, I'm going to under function one I'm going to choose SPL and that's for split operation and I'm going to program that to button B. So now I've got my split activation on my uh, on my B button there to turn that on and off and the second thing I'm going to do is now when I when I activate quick, quick split, what it's going to do is it can um, adjust the split frequency of VFOB to 1 kilohertz, 5 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, etc. Uh, so that you can go split uh, real quick. Uh, so uh, 
what I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to show you how you can configure that by going into the menu. I'm going to press the function button, go to the menu, uh, menu number 5-13 is quick split frequency and you'll see it's set for 5 kilohertz. That's the default. I can change that to say 1 kilohertz. If I was using this uh, in CW, Morse code, uh, I would probably use a 1 kilohertz split. That's most common on the um, in the CW uh, allocations. If I'm going to do phone, you can set it to 5 kilohertz. Uh, you could go you could go up to 10 kilohertz, but really 5 kilohertz is common for phone operation. So we're going to leave that set to 5 kilohertz. I'm going to go back to my screen here, and you'll see that VFOA is set to a 20. Um, to a 40 meter frequency. VFOB is set to a 20 meter frequency. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to balance out these two frequencies. So I'm going to uh, press and hold the AB button. Now both VFOA and VFOB are set to the same frequency. Now if the DX station has announced that they're going split, go five up, go five up, you might hear something like that. I'm going to press Right now, I got split engaged. SPL is lit here. Um, both frequencies are the same, but if I press and hold B, now you'll see VFOB just jumped up five kilohertz. It's now 7263, and I am ready for split. When I transmit, I will be transmitting on 7263. I will be listening on 7258 because I've got my split activation, split operation activated. It's as easy as that. If I'm going to turn it off, I just press split. And now split is off and I will transmit on the main frequency 7258. If I wanted to use this on CW and I just roll down to a CW frequency here, I will probably want to readjust my quick split frequency. So I'm going to press and hold the function button. And I'm from our previous setting, I'm still sitting at menu number 5 13. I'm going to set this down to 1 kilohertz. Go back. Um, AB button, I'm going to press and hold AB. Balance out both frequencies. Turn on split. And then up one, up one. Press and hold. And now. 77059-7060. If I wanted to go up another kilohertz, press and hold. 7061, 7062. See, it just increments automatically. A uh, really handy feature uh, for um, quickly turning on and turning off split operation. To turn off split, there we go. Now we're back to um, VFOA uh, exclusively. There you have it. Five clever things you probably didn't know your FT891 could do. What's your favorite? Do you have a tip or trick for the FT891 you'd like to share? Well, please leave it in the comments below. I've also got a playlist of other FT891 instructional videos, so you might want to check those out. I'll put a link to it in the video description. But for now, I'm going to stop talking and get on the air. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.